Yeah. Don't worry, if I had, uh, uh, one time I ended up with squeaky talk in the class, uh, like really, there's like a cheaper kind of talk or something, and boy, I got new shocks real fast. <laughs> okay, um, so but thank you for reminding me about that. Uh, so, uh, if the squid travels at 40 kilometers per hour, how fast does the squid go in nautical miles per second? Okay, and I give you the conversion factor is 1.15 miles per one nautical mile. Okay? Uh, show your factor label setup, write your answer in scientific notation, and, um, what are you running like that? Okay, uh, so, 40 kilometers per hour equals how many um, nautical miles, and I'll just call that NMI per second. Um, I give you in the product uh, uh, the problem that uh, one nautical mile and mm -hmm. I uh, is equal to 1.15 of those regular miles. Okay. And I guess. Uh, so we just take the 1.15 times the 40. Uh, well, let's let's walk through it. Okay. So, um, so we need to start off with the 40 kilometers per hour, and um, I'm going to just go uh, straight kilometers to, to miles. Uh, that's the quickest way. Um, if you could do it, there are several other ways you could do it. Um, I'm usually going to take the path of least resistance in most things. Uh, 40 kilometers per hour uh, per every one kilometer. Oh, wait, is it 1.609? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, what is it? yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, for every 1.609 uh, kilometers, that's one mile, and and for every uh, wait wait we're, we're at miles right. So now we just need to use our, our new conversion factor that is not on your cheat sheet. Mm -hmm. Will okay. that be given to us or do we just need well, Of course, oh. uh, just like I gave it to you in the problem oh, on your cheat sheet. I don't know that. Uh, I like your vector for uh, like those M and M drills here. Okay. For every one mile, regular mile, uh, we get, oh, sorry, 1.15 miles, we get one nautical mile. Mm -hmm. Yes. And are we done? What do we have to do? Seconds. Yeah, we've got to deal with this, uh, the hours to seconds, okay? So we can tell we're not done because when we cancel off the units, um, That's the miles too. Yeah, there we go. When we cancel off the right units, um, <laughs> right. you know, we have one of the units we want. We need to get that second set of units. Now, um, we want them to cancel, so where is the next thing going to start? Hours At the end. end. Hours on top. Okay. So, for every one hour, we get 60 minutes, and then for every... 360. Uh, what? One minute, we get 60 seconds. Or we can just use um, the cheat, which is 3,600 30. seconds for every one hour. That one is not on your cheat sheet, but it's just the 60 times 60 that you get from multiplying the, the minutes and the seconds. Um, so uh, real fast, just to not confuse anybody, um, you can also replace this box with, um, uh, you know, for every one hour, you get 60 minutes. And sorry, I'm done here so long. Um, and for every one minute, you get 60 seconds. But I, um, you know, I always use that sheet. I usually use it with my daughter when she's asking me how many minutes is and stuff. And she asks me questions like this. Okay, now, um, are we done? Well, just so we can take it across, yes. Yeah, so we can double check. We can say, okay, we canceled out the hours. Um, and we're left with seconds. And so now we just multiply across the top, divide that by um, the product at the bottom, and we get some kind of good answer. Uh, it looks like 6.0 uh, times 10 to the negative 3 uh, nautical miles per second. And did anybody uh, check that for me? Yeah. So I yeah, so um, I, I went and... Uh, how do you listen? Did you have a, an exam one that um, needed more points? Is that you? You were one of them, weren't you? Yeah. 
Okay. So we need to um, we need to talk though. Because I don't remember exactly what it was, and I don't have both pieces, I don't think. I can double check that, but I need to match both pieces. And... Yeah, I don't have to have it either, but I'll... Well, I'm going to give you some time. Yeah, you, you missed that part of the review thing. But uh, it's going to be on this recording. I think this is the first time I've ever been recorded during a lecture. I've been recorded, my voice has been recorded a lot, though. Um, okay, so does everybody feel okay with that? Okay. And I've been negative, negative here, right? Yeah, yeah, that's just a little trying, but anyway. Okay. Okay, so that's going to be the scope of those types of problems I'm going to ask. Um, like I said, uh, you know, the questions are going to be the same exact questions. I'm not going to work them differently. Um, uh, change the numbers, you know what I mean? Uh, keep you guys, you know, I want to see you guys come through the calculation and let me understand them. Okay. Um, well, let's do a naming really fast, um, and then um, I think we're going to move on. We've got naming also, covalent naming on the next um, exam, exam two. Um, it looks like I didn't really cover uh, covalent naming on so, um, that one. Uh, um, <clears throat> so, I mean, you might see a multiple choice question like that, you know, just one. Okay. But uh, like I said, there won't be more than four multiple choice questions. Uh, those are going to be really the only bringers in the lab, um, you know, final. Yeah. So the test again, I just, I just told you to ask you, but the test itself is going to be all multiple choice except for the lab will no. be the only portion I have to show your work. Uh, no, uh, you'll have, uh, but the show your work for the other portion is not going to have any, you know, we didn't do any math. So there won't be really any math, uh, there won't be any math in the show your work portion. But, but there will be a show your work portion. Stuff like that, yeah. 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 It'll be the same format, 50 points uh, as your, um, you know, multiple choice portion, and then 25 points as your, okay. Um, specifically, you're going to be focusing on structures. Um, um, the, you know, the, the basic structures that we went over. Now, I don't want you to be able to draw the entire cholesterol molecule, but I want you to recognize it, right? You know, the steroid structure that A, B, C, we'll get to. Um, you know, and then those major reaction types that kind of repeated themselves through 13 through 16. Okay? Um, would there be something like a PI calculation show your work on that one? Probably not. Um, it's a really cool concept that we went over it pretty well, but um, yeah, that's just, you know, Being able to in the grand scheme of things, when we did it, um, you know, the last day of class, it was the last, you know, the lab of the class, during the last day of class that we did, during the lab review, or whatever. Um, yeah, it's just too much. <clears throat> okay? All right, so uh, naming. Um, Let's try uh, chromium oxide. I give you guys. Uh, I'll give you. I'll do. So let's do two. Um, let's start with. If I give you uh, the formula. Uh, yeah. If I give you the formula like this, and there was a mistake on this one, uh, we should remind our class. Um, uh, vanadium nitrate. Um, I was supposed to show you guys the three. Remember, I forgot to put my little three down there. So um, this is what I want you guys to name right here. Um, uh, this is uh, the uh, 25A on uh, exam one's show your work. Um, so if we want to do the name on this, what do we start with? The metal or the non-metal? Yep. Here you go. What am I looking at? So would it be, let's say B, C, vanadium three nitrates? Okay. Vanadium. Three nitrates. And what are you looking at right now? Periodic table. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Best friend for the term. I told you. Okay, so um, well, first, what do we need to figure out? Um, it's a metal and a non-metal, so we know it's going to be uh, ionic. We're naming it ionic, and we got two cases of ionic. What do we need to uh, look at? If they're fixed charges. Or not. Fixed charges or not. So if they're well-behaved metals or not well-behaved metals, is vanadium a well-behaved metal? No. No. Okay, so it's outside of our uh, alkali earth metals, our uh, alkali metals, and our three uh, uh, separate cases. They're given on your um, cheat sheet, but those would be what? Uh, uh, zinc, um, C2, 
silver, uh, cadmium, and oh, aluminum. Yeah, so those are our five special cases. What was that for? Four special cases. Okay? Um, <coughs> vanadium is definitely not in there. <coughs> so then what do, we, what do we need to do? I mean, the first thing we can do is we know that it's vanadium, something, nitrate, right? And so remember, in tell you work, the more work you show, the more I can give you credit for because, um, you know, because there's something there. Uh, there's something to work with. If you don't show any work, I can't really show you any credit. But if you show me this much, you're going to get, you know, quite a bit of points. If you show me vanadium and nitrate, you're going to get, quite, you know, some of the points. Um, even if you don't realize that it's a uh, variable there. All right, and then the way that we figure this out, when we have a variable charged metal is we look at the non-metal portion of it. There are fish charges. Um, we remember that our nitrate is? Negative one. Yeah, and luckily that's on your cheek sheet, right? Yeah. <laughs> so this guy's a negative one. There are three of them. We need to balance a negative three charge. How do we balance good? We balance it with evil. How do we balance a negative charge? We balance it with a positive charge. And uh, so, 